I'm somewhere very special today. I'm at Nandanvan Jungle Safari here in Naya Raipur. This is the largest man-made zoo in all of Asia. It's 800 hectares large. It has a 180 hectare water body. It's got lions, it's got tigers, it's got bears. And it's still not fully completed yet. There is more to come. This has only been inaugurated in 2016 by the Prime Minister Narendra Modi. This entire area you can see around me is called Naya Raipur, New Raipur. And it is India's first integrated smart city. And it is just incredible. But first, I'll tell you more about Naya Raipur later, don't worry. First, let's go and let's check out Nandanvan Zoo. And go check out some animals, see how it is. See what's on offer in Asia's largest zoo. And today, Vivek, I am here with you, bro. What is up, my Chhattisgarhi bhai? Vivek, I didn't know this, he was trying to sneak me in as an Indian. So uh, we're just getting a foreigner ticket now. Foreigners are 500 rupees for non-AC and a thousand rupees for AC. Wow. Like more than double what an Indian has to pay. So far there's four exhibitions here. Soon there's going to be 32 different species of animals here. They're really working on this place. We've entered the cage now. We are the caged animals here. Not the animals, it's the other way around. I feel like this is prison break. Have you watched prison break, break? Prison break? We gotta get out. The tour has started now, and as you can hear, it's all in Hindi, so. Even though foreigners pay more, you don't get anything extra for their money. You don't get the tour in English because you paid more. You don't get better toilets or facilities because you paid more. You don't get anything extra even though you've paid the double of what an Indian has got. And that's one of my problems with having to pay more here in India. We're paying more so we should get something more. But we're paying more, right? That's how it works. But anyway, safari has started off well. We've already seen India's national bird. The, the more the people, they're, they're so beautiful, they're so beautiful. That was the black buck, the, the animal that Salman Khan killed. I like that. That one has a broken leg. And then maybe Salman Khan got to him, eh? We're looking for bears now, and these must be the only bears in the world that are vegetarian. They've been given um, Hindu names like Radha, and what was the other bear's name? Krishna. So on. Um, so on. Um, yeah, so they have to be vegetarian. Uh -huh. Yeah, four bears, four bears. But let's find them to say hello. There's five of them here, and they're basically a family living here in this enclosure. And I say enclosure, these are huge enclosures, like 20 hectare large enclosures. <laughs> the bears are sleeping, they're feeling lazy. The other three were by the gate waiting for their food, I guess, and the kids were just, just chilling. I got a tip for you guys if you're coming here. The best times to visit the very first uh, tour in the morning at 9.30, that's the best time. And then between 3 and 5 in the afternoon. That's where you're going to find the animals most active. So don't come in the middle of the day when it's really hot. The animals will be really lazy, okay? First thing in the morning or in the late afternoon. And the next tip guys, sit on the left side of the bus. All the animals have appeared on the left okay. Front seat is best, you can see out the front and you get the side as well, okay? How close we've got to the animals is quite amazing. It's, it's well worth doing this. And I'll give you a quick Hindi lesson. So Balu is bear, Bagh is tiger, 
Sheer is lion and deer is heron. So at least you know what he's talking about when he's taking you around. Where you going next? That was pretty good. We got to see tigers, lions, deers, and bears as well. I mean, it's not as good as going to the Delhi Zoo where you're gonna see absolutely everything and far more varieties of animals, but it's fun in, 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 in as much as that it's safari, right? You're kind of riding through these enclosures and you're pretty much guaranteed to see these animals. That was cool. There was so much more wildlife here than we saw in Narendra Modi and Bear Grylls Man vs Wild episode. That is for sure. That was all man and no wild. So yeah, it, it was fun in that guys. Maybe Bear Grylls and Modi should have came to Chattis Garden, huh? Good thing. Oh. You, you weren't listening to me. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Do you think Bear Grylls and Narendra Modi should have came to Chattis Garden instead? They should. They should have filmed it here. There is so much wild here. They should have came to the Bastard region. They should have came to Chhattisgarh. There are so many national parks here. They would have found a lot more wild and had a lot more fun here. Anyway, never mind. The concept behind this place is what is amazing. 800 hectares and the fact that they're going to have 32 species here when it's done. When they have all 32, then this place is going to be absolutely incredible and then it's going to be a must come to place in India then it's going to be incredible right now it's not incredible it's it's okay it will be incredible once they get finished with this place and I told you I'd tell you about Naya Raipur as well new Raipur they're actually going to move the capital of Chhattisgarh from Raipur to Naya Raipur about 15 or 20 kilometers from what Raipur is now and it's India's first smart city Everything is integrated, you know, there's a command center which watches the water flows from each house and all the sewage is reprocessed and, and reused. All the power cables, the internet cables, all the cables are underground. It is a city of the future here in India and it's another, it's another initiative by Narendra Modi. He seems to have done a lot here in Raipur for the people. So yeah, it's, it's no wonder that they seem to love him here as well. And actually Chhattisgarh having the biggest jungle safari in Asia, it's very fitting of Chhattisgarh because they have 45% forest cover across the whole state. The forests are so important to these guys and especially to the tribal people who live here, who actually live in the bush and sustain themselves off everything that the bush can provide them in life. So, yeah, it's, it's very fitting that they have this amazing jungle safari that they're building here and how they look after their, their forests and national parks here. They are very, very proud of this and I am proud of Chhattisgarh for looking after their forests too and being eco-friendly. If you want to watch more of my Chhattisgarh vlogs, go to the playlist. You'll see me going and staying with tribal people here in Chhattisgarh, exploring the beautiful Bustard region and yeah. So many other things and if you love the content that i create hit that join button below become a channel member so i can keep dedicating my life to making videos for you guys here in incredible india guys i don't do brand deals i don't do sponsorships i will not sell you i will not sell myself to these brands so please support the channel with channel memberships jay hind <laughs>